So what have we done about this? Well, people like me who know about the disease in Parliament quite well, and I'm not a medical doctor, by the way, despite my title, I'm a chemist. We've been pressing government for some time now. And in 2001, the DOH finally commissioned a hepatitis C strategy for England. And they published the strategy a year, about just over a year later in 2002. And then the uh, hepatitis C action plan was published. And did we raise a cheer when that happened? Because we thought, at long last, the health service is going to wake up and start to realise that they have a time bomb in their presence. But the hepatology all party group got very concerned that the delays in the implementation of that strategy. And so in 2005, we published a report, and it's available on the Hepatitis C Trust website if you want to look at it. Uh, there are little short documents like this. This is the document. We published that in March uh, 2005. And then we heard that there was anecdotal evidence of significant delays, and it is postcode lotteried. If you happen to live in certain parts of the country, fine. If you live in other parts of the country, none of the health service appear to be interested. It's regional. Uh, Scotland appear to be better than any of the other three parts of the United Kingdom. And of course, you're going to hear about that later this afternoon. In February 2006 and February 2008, we've published two audits of the health service um, from the hepatology group that I'm vice chairman of, which was only formed in 2003. And we did this jointly with the Hepatitis C Trust. This is the government statement that, that occurs in their strategy document. Chief executives of primary care trusts and NHS, NHS hospital trusts should be able to demonstrate that there are adequate services and partnerships at a local level to enable models of best clinical practice to be followed as set out in that strategy. Now, these are the results of our two surveys. The left-hand figure is the 2006 figure. The right-hand figure is the 2008 figure. So, for example, top line, 63% of primary care trusts responded to us in 06, much better in 08. Uh, primary care trusts are beginning to implement the strategy but remember, it was published a few, quite a few years ago. It was only 8% in 2006, and it's still, last year, only a third of the, of the primary care trusts throughout England and Wales, these figures, have implemented the plan effectively according to the point system that we have devised and measured them by. And about half in each of those years have implemented the strategy to some degree um, and the figure for those that have shown virtually no implementation in a serious way anyhow uh, has gone down by about a half. So it's not good I'm afraid. Uh, the health service could do better. Is it a lack of knowledge? Is it a lack of will? Is it a lack of money? That's the kind of thing we can dis discuss later. And of the hospital trusts sadly, less responded in 08 than in 06. And they were reminded that we were doing a serious survey and hospitals report significant delays in treatment. It can vary from three to 20 weeks according to our 2008 report. In 2006, it was even worse some people were waiting up to a one year to get the combination therapy. And we've just done a survey, which has just been published this year, 2009. I have it here if anyone wants to look at it later. Who is responsible for governance? Who is responsible for measuring what the PCTs are doing if my uh, all-party parliamentary group don't do it or the Hepatitis C Trust don't do it? Who is responsible? Is it the primary care trusts? Are they self-regulating? Is it the hospital trusts? Are they self-regulating? Or do the strategic health authorities really have a role to play here, which I believe they have? But I can tell you 
strategic health authorities, in this area of health care, you are letting Britain down badly. That's my personal opinion. And we have to do much, much better. So, in conclusion, unless vastly more rigorous, vigorous efforts are made now, at a local level, by our primary care trusts, all of them, encouraged by targets in the timetable set out nationally by the Department of Health, we, that is the hepatology uh, group, predict that hepatitis C will in the future become a crushing burden to our health service and that we will look back and know that we could have prevented this time bomb from exploding. So I'm very sorry to have to start the conference with such a serious message, but I, I, I think some of you may know that it is a serious uh, virus, and I hope that all of you, if you are involved with the health service, will try to conquer this problem. Thank you for listening.